Today on the news, we're covering the stories that's kept our city rocking from Big Brother Nigeria's return to Uber's plans to launch a boat service and the controversial interview that has started a revolution. We've got you covered. My name is Biodon with you right here on Accelerate News. Forbes Africa has released its fifth edition of its 30 under 30 list, honoring some of the continent's most accomplished young artists, entrepreneurs, and tech stars. The popular magazine this year has released the names of 120 young African game changers, all under the age of 30, in each of the four sectors, namely business, technology, creatives, and sports. This is an increase from 90 people from the previous year. The list was announced at the annual Forbes Africa Africa Under 30 meetup that took place at the Hilton Hotel in Johannesburg. Founder and CEO of Redrick PR, Ijoma Balogno, and popular Nigerian professional footballer Alex Iwobi were named in the business and sports categories, respectively. And of course, your favorite Afrofusion singer and songwriter, Burna Boy, was also named in the creative category. No surprises there. Visit the Accelerate TV website to see the full list. Here to put a smile at the start of the second half half of the year looks like uber is about to come up with a permanent solution to lagos traffic now if you're often stuck in traffic this news might come as some sort of a relief lagos sub-saharan africa's biggest city with an estimated population of 22 million is known for its traffic congestion leaving commuters spending hours in their cars Public transport services are scarce and unreliable. Its vast waterways provide good transport options, but they are hardly used. Speaking to Reuters, Uber's chief business officer, Brooks and Whistle, shared that besides looking to expand to more West African countries like Cote d'Ivoire and Senegal, the company is also considering a boat service for Lagos. He said, quote, We are looking at the waterways here, which are very interesting to us as it relates to potential service. Now, we know the traffic is a priority and we think we can help there end of quote the executive did not give a timeline on when the service will begin and it's unclear exactly how the service would work but we imagine it'd be a useful addition to the lagos traffic system now switching gears into fashion on tuesday kim kardashian unveiled a kimono line claiming it was something that she had been passionate about for 15 years the collection aims to find solutions to common shapewear problems such as needing different styles and cuts for different outfits. However, the announcement gave way to an immediate wave of criticism as people accused Kim of being culturally insensitive, particularly considering that a kimono is already traditional item of Japanese clothing. Aside from the Kim Oh No hashtag that was used to demonstrate their displeasure, a petition had already been started by Sono Fukunishi on Change.org and had been signed by over 10,000 people as of yesterday. The petition calls the use of the name horrible cultural disrespect and establishes that the name kimono means clothing in Japanese and should not be shared with an underwear brand. Now judging from the response to the news, it was clear to see that people definitely weren't happy with Kim's choices. But after remaining silent on the matter on social media, Kim has responded to the criticism. In a statement to the New York Times, Kim said that she had named the line kimono as a nod to the beauty and detail that goes into a garment, adding that she has no intention of selling anything that would resemble or dishonor the traditional item of clothing. As for the trademarking drama, Kim's statement explained that this was meant to be a source identifier that she would use for her shapewear and intimate lines, but that it wouldn't prelude or restrict anyone in making kimonos or using the word kimono in reference to the traditional garment. So despite calls for Kim to change the name, it looks like kimono shapewear is here to stay. Big Brother Nigeria is back. Now it returns to Nigeria with the aim of surpassing its last two seasons, which were filmed in South Africa. The expectation for this year's Big Brother Nigeria reality show has been very, very high. Now this could also be because of the hype that was created during the auditions. <laughs> now you tell me this. 
Leave a comment in the section of our post below. Do you think that those people that ended up on the show were at the auditions? But hey, that's controversy for another day. The show officially commenced on Sunday, June 30, with an exciting and a performance-filled opening ceremony. Each season of Big Brother Nigeria has delivered exciting performances as part of the entertainment, and this year's was no different. This year's launch performance lineup included top entertainers such as Tenny the Entertainer, Burner Boy, and Zlatan. At the opening ceremony, Nigerians both home and abroad were prepared to receive the new housemates that will be spending the next three months together in the house. There are 21 housemates in total this year and also Big Brother Nigeria added an extra week to this year's show, meaning that the housemates will be spending 99 days instead of the usual 91. In an exclusive interview with Y Ninja, professional photographer and wife of Timmy Dakolo, Busola Dakolo, has thrown the internet in a frenzy with new information she revealed about a very famous pastor. Now, according to her, she was allegedly assaulted by the lead pastor of the Commonwealth of Zion Assembly, Koza, Pastor Biodun Fatoyimbo, while she was in secondary school. Now, Pastor Biodun Fatoyimbo has released a statement stating that he did not commit the crime. A largely peaceful protest was held outside the Commonwealth of Zion Assembly in Abuja on Sunday to force the immediate resignation of Biodun Fatoimbo as a lead preacher of the Pentecostal congregation. The protest of about 300 people started at about 8.30 a.m. at the Koza headquarters in Abuja and a simultaneous protest also held at the church's branch in Lagos. For more details on the protest, visit our website AccelerateTV.com to get all the details. That's it for today on Accelerate News. Now remember, if you're looking for the dopest content to keep you in the mood, stay locked onto AccelerateTV.com. Check out all the awesome content stored and waiting for you on our website. Until next time, my name is Bjordan. Stay awesome, everybody.